Hello, welcome back to another video. I know I just did a what I ate in a day, but um, I'm actually traveling today, so I thought I would do one that's a little bit different. So it basically gives you kind of an idea of what I eat when I travel. Tonight, I'm actually leaving for Paris for two days for work. Um, I'm flying out of Birmingham, landing in Charles de Gaulle, then I'm spending two days at a conference and then coming back Thursday night. And it's gonna be a bit of a whirlwind trip. Um, I have no idea what the food is gonna be like while I'm there. Actually, I kind of do. Last year, I think the only vegan thing at the conference itself was like these little quinoa bowls. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna try and just be a little bit more prepared this year and get some things at the airport that I can just put in my bag because Otherwise, I pretty much go the whole day without eating anything, which is never very good. I've never really been one of these people who is ultra prepared in terms of food when they travel. I mean, I'm really prepared about everything else, packing, making sure I get there on time, but food, I kind of just wing it a little bit. Um, I know some people pack their own stuff, which is so commendable, but for me, I just usually show up at the airport and see what's there. I did have a look today to see what options are at the Birmingham airport and that there are quite a few restaurants that have vegan options now so I think I'll be fine for dinner. Um, and of course there's Boots and WH Smith and places like that that now have vegan um, wraps and sandwiches and things so I'm going to try and stock up on those once I'm there. So yeah, let's go! Also. What happened to that nice weather we had? Look, I even have my lounge chair set up, getting some sunshine over the weekend, and it has just turned back into lovely gray English sky. Welcome to Patty. I just arrived at the hotel um, after a pretty uneventful travel trip. It was kind of nice today. I haven't traveled by myself like that in a while and everything was smooth sailing from the beginning, um, which is good because I'm a little bit of a nervous traveler. Um, I, I didn't used to be when I was younger, but um, I had some anxiety problems in my early 20s and they still are lingering um, but it went really well I'm very happy with it one thing that's really interesting about traveling by yourself though is it's really makes you feel like an adult because there are no like adultier adults to, to rely on so you really have to think for yourself and figure stuff out and uh, it's good though. It's it's a it's a good thing. I I shouldn't rely on other people as much as I do. Um, yeah. <laughs> anyway, while I was at the Birmingham airport, um, I had dinner, which was this like chickpea and coconut and sweet potato curry, which was really nice. And I had a side of chips. And yeah. It was not bad actually. Um, it's a little bit expensive, but that's what you expect when you eat at the airport, so I can't really complain. And I also picked up a wrap from Boots for tomorrow because I'm not sure what the conference is gonna be like. And I also got two kind bars as well to have for a snack. You guys, they put Pringles out. I feel like they know that this is my weakness.
Good morning, everyone. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is a little bit raspy. I haven't spoken to anyone yet this morning. It is day two in Paris. Um, yesterday was spent all day at a conference, um, pretty much from 8 a.m. until 7.30 at night. It was a very long day. Um, luckily, they had some vegan options at the at lunchtime, though. They had these little tiny pots of, um, one of them was like diced raw veggies with some olive oil and then there was another one that was hummus and tabbouleh which was actually really good so I had about three of those um, and didn't have to have my wrap which is good because it probably tastes a bit old now <laughs> last night we also had dinner near the hotel I felt a bit awkward because I was with my colleagues and we kept looking at menus um, at restaurants that we were passing by to see if there was anything I could eat um, and I'm, I was trying really hard to be easy and, and I'm not a picky eater I was happy just to have a salad and chips but we couldn't even find salads that didn't have um, cheese and meat in them but we went to this little restaurant near the hotel and they actually had vegan options marked on the menu which was pretty cool um, and yeah so I had a little like asparagus soup thing to start and then some bread and then this deconstructed um, lasagna and it was delicious it was so nice um, although <laughs> the server did try to bring me some meat at one point because he thought I just didn't eat cheese so maybe he thought I was lactose intolerant um, but then when I said vegan I think uh, then it sunk in and he felt a little embarrassed but then after the restaurant, we just went to Buddha Bar. Um, there were some clients having some drinks there and we just had one drink and then came home. Um, that By that time, it was pretty late. Um, it was a really cool bar though. I kind of wish we'd had a little bit more time to, to hang out there, but I'm happy to go to bed early, get up early, spend another day at the conference, and then I'm back on a plane home tonight. <laughs> Thanks so much for that lovely appearance. <laughs> uh, oh dear. <clears throat> so at the airport, uh, it was nice. There were a few vegan options. There were only a couple restaurants. Um, I ended up eating at Yo Sushi. They told me there was no avocado, so I couldn't get an avocado roll. But then five minutes later, they were making avocado rolls, which is really annoying. So I just had some gyoza. Um, and I had a beer before the flight. And now we're just heading to Sainsbury's to get a few things for dinner, and that's it. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed my vlog, and if you have, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. <laughs>